Hello, my fellow INFJs and my fellow friends and MBTI lovers and all that and all this and all that. How goes it? Welcome to another video. My name is Cliff's Items, and I'm going to throw you some items, all right, to, to take you on your journey to fighting crime, to fighting bad people, to fighting the tyranny that's going on in our world right now, in all the weirdness. Okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's up, my friends? I'm not, okay, I'm not drunk. I'm not on drugs or anything. I'm just feeling a little woo today. I don't know why. Uh, I, so I've been fascinated with the metaverse, and I think a lot of you are starting to catch on to that. Maybe some of you, maybe not, maybe most of you aren't even watching anymore. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> but uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed Peter. Peter has been my new friend. Wink, wink. Um, and it's just me trying new things, playing around with technology, and it's really been fun for me. And I've met my new friend Peter now because of that. Uh, but I've been thinking a lot about the metaverse because I'm fascinated with it. I really am. I'm passionate about this idea because I've always been a video game lover. I love video games. I love playing video games. I love watching people play video games. I love the, the aesthetics. I love the music. I love the production. I love the back, the behind the scenes, all that. Like I've just, I, I'm fascinated with that stuff. Now, virtual reality is something that I've also messed with a little bit. And um, I like, I like where this is going in a way. Because I've always, as a kid, I was always wanted to, like, go to virtual reality. Be like, oh, if I could just be transported in a different world. And lo and behold, we have that technology right now. It's weird. Right now. We have it. I don't know if you've tried virtual reality. But that shit is cool, man. Like, I play some video, this game called... Um, I play this game called... Uh, I forget what it's called. But it's this game where you're, like... It's like a simulation of you're like a superhero, like not a superhero, but like a almost like a like a John Wick type character. And you have like people coming at you from different angles with guns and you have to like and every time you move the, the every time you move the people like the enemies move too, but you every time you stop, uh, they stop too. And depending on how fast you go, they go faster. So like. If you're going like slow-mo, they also go slow-mo. If you like go fast, they go fast, right? And that game, it's, it's oh yeah, I remember it's called Super Hot, yeah. And that game is freaking cool, man. I love that game. It's so good. As far as VR experiences, that's the best experience I've ever had. It's burned in my brain. Like it's such a good VR game. If you can try it, I, I really highly, highly recommend you try that. Anytime you have a chance to, um, but no hurry, of course. Uh, I am just fascinated with all this stuff, the metaverse. And a lot of people are starting saying like, oh, okay, the metaverse is not good. It's not, people think it's might, it might be DeFi or de like decentralized government or whatever like that. But it's not really, uh, yeah, they go like, it's not really, it's like, oh, it's just another way to get us uh, hooked up on the internet, hooked up on our technology and just separated from each other so we're easy to be controlled. I see that perspective, I do, and I, I do believe that. I think that's kind of true, because why would, uh, you know, why would certain people want to change their company name to that and want to make that their new focus? I don't know, it seems kind of fishy to me, but I get it. But I, I'm now justifying my fascination with this topic and leaning into it because I personally am fascinated by it, fascinated by it. I think that it's going to be an awesome experience and I want to keep it that way. I want to help, I want to help keep it just entertainment, just entertainment, something that we can do that's fun, that's enjoyable to pass the time, right? Because we like to have fun, right? Human beings love to have fun. We want to have fun. That's what we're, what most of the time when we're not doing something, that's what we want to do. We want to have fun. But we have all these crazy people who are trying to put us in this place where we're like hooked in and we're going to be like dying inside and not even realize it. So I think it's important for me 
as a person that loves this idea, who want, who's fascinated by this idea, to lean into it, to learn about it, to contribute to it, so that when the time comes, I know enough to be like, hey, 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 we're going the wrong direction here. Okay, let's stop. Anyway, enough of my fascination with the metaverse in this little segment here. I was just curious. I think it's really important to ask, as INFJs, what would we think of this? Like, would we want to be a part of this? I personally think that it's going to be a great way for INFJs to feel that extra step of closeness, right? INFJs, we found kind of our, our niche, our little, our, not, I don't want to say little, but like our corner of the internet, I don't want to say corner even, our slice of the internet, I think that's a better way, to ourselves, right? We go on the internet, we go on these forums, it was, it was big in the late 2000s, two, late 2000s, it kind of became a, a cool thing, like personality cafe, these blogs and these MBTI blogs and all that and NF geeks, right? I, I don't know, maybe some of you remember that, maybe you don't, but we kind of are carving this slice of the internet where we feel this community that's developing. I really do believe that. I've, I've felt that it's helped me through a lot of my college years, like being able to interact with other INFJs to be like, hey, what's up? How do you feel about this? I'm not crazy, you're not crazy. We're all just this weird personality type I shouldn't say weird, I should say unique personality type that sets us apart a little bit. But I think the metaverse will start making it easier for us to feel that extra step of closeness that I think can't be achieved uh, in, the current, uh, in the current way things are, right? So we interact each other with each, with each other through text, through comments, through messages, through personal messages, but I think when we can start going into a World of Warcraft type situation where we have our little character that represent that is represented in this world that we can walk through and just go like, hey, and then you can like do a little emotion, emojis, little do like a little emotions, you can wave, you can say, I'm playing these games right now where you can do that. You're just walking around and you can interact with people. You can see their avatars. And I think it'd be really cool. It'll give us a sense of creativity, uh, a sense of community in the INFJ world. I think that the when things are going to when things are made a lot easier for us to do that. When we, when it all it takes is just one click to get you into that world, into this World of Warcraft situation where you walk around with your character and then you can see another INFJ who's another character and you're like, "Hey, what's up?" and you wave and you're like, "Let's sit down by this tree and just chat." I think it'll be really cool. I think it'd be really a great way to build that community uh, in the meantime, before actually meeting in person, because that's the ultimate goal is to make things more interactive in this virtual space so that once we feel that closeness in the virtual space, it makes it easier for everybody to feel safe to meet in person. That's the fine, that's the actual goal. The actual goal is not to be okay with the just feeling close on the virtual space. It's wanting to get even closer into real interpersonal react, uh, interactions. Because honestly, throughout my life, the best and the most close like interactions I've had online with people are I'm other INFJ. So how awesome would it be to actually meet these people in person, right? Um, not saying like I haven't had deep interactions with other ties. I'm just saying like. Another another INFJ is more like cool about like, oh, let's send each other like long paragraphs about like how we feel about a certain situation, like on the internet, like through comments on Facebook groups and things like that. Uh, so I, I think it's gonna be fascinating. I really do. And I, I was wondering what a lot of you thought about that. I'm really energetic today. I don't know what happened. I think I had some kind of like apple cider vinegar drink and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I was wondering, like, comment below, what do you think of this metaverse thing? Would it be cool to have an INFJ metaverse, like an INFJ community world metaverse where we can go into this space and it's private and we can go in there and we just interact with each other, say hi, maybe even challenge each other to like a game of chess on the virtual metaverse. 
I think it'd be so cool. I think it'd be awesome. I think it'd be a great way to get us closer together. But we want to be informed in the space. Like that's what I my goal is to be informed about the metaverse, to understand how from a developer's perspective what it is and how it's created and what what could be dangerous about it, what could be yeah, what could be uh, consequential about it. So that once things get go south, I can be like, "Hey, let's stop. Let's rethink this here." Okay, if I gave you too much weird like too much extrovert energy in this, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just excited because I uh, this topic makes me excited. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and um, I hope I didn't make you cringe that much. Uh, I will catch you in the next video. Bye. I need to stop before this goes crazier.